The situation at the Phlegraean Field supervolcano is becoming increasingly serious. Experts are worried and say that the current situation is definitely no longer normal. Is an eruption imminent that could not only devastate the region around Naples, but also change the climate of the entire continent? We're taking a close look, so stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. Unfortunately, the situation has changed drastically since I was there in January. For months now, the ground has been heaving considerably and earthquake swarms have been recurring. The Campi Flegre are located to the west of Naples under the municipality of Pozzuoli. I marveled at all this on site and the view of the volcanic craters, in the middle of which volcanic gases rise, is really super spectacular and clearly shows you what forces are slumbering underground here. When I was there, the volcanologist Fabio Sansivero from the I NGV, the Italian Volcano Institute, told me that earthquake activity had decreased. In fact, January was a surprisingly quiet month, geologically speaking. But unfortunately, this was not to last long. Recently, this activity has increased significantly, which has alarmed both scientists and the population. So a powerful force is bubbling away in the depths of the Phlegraean fields near the magnificent medieval old town of Naples, and everyone is staring expectantly. This ground uplift is known as Brady Seismos, and it is not only a local curiosity of the Phlegraean fields, but also an important object of research to better understand the dynamics of volcanoes. This phenomenon is caused by the movement of magma beneath the Earth's surface. When magma rises and collects near the surface, the overlying crust expands and causes the ground to uplift. The Phlegraean fields are one of the few areas in the world where Bradyism is so pronounced and well documented. For the inhabitants of Naples, but especially Pozzuoli, this is basically part of everyday life. The Campi Flegre are no stranger to the history of major volcanic events. The last really big eruption took place in 1538 and created Monte Nuovo. Since then there have been no further major eruptions, but the area has never really come to rest. Between 1982 and 1984, ground movements of more than one and a half meters were recorded in Pozzoli. These earlier episodes still provide valuable data today, showing how volcanic activity can evolve over long periods of time. When I was in Pozzoli, I interviewed Giuseppe in the station kiosk, who is from Pozzoli, and told me how the situation feels for local residents. Let's listen in. What is it like for you to live here in Pozzoli on a supervolcano? And what is the current situation like for you? Look, we're here because we were born here. But in the end, you don't really get used to the situation. But we residents are still very calm about the volcanoes, even if it has been a bit more threatening recently with all the earthquakes. Fortunately, the situation has calmed down a bit in the meantime. A few years ago in the 80s, there was a lot more going on here. And yes, there have also been a few earthquakes in the recent past, but these crises come and go, and no matter what the circumstances are, we have our jobs here, we have our home here, we just have to try to live with the danger somehow. But of course, we are certainly aware that we live on a supervolcano, and we always hope that the earthquakes will pass. Because the region is so densely populated, Campi Flegre is one of the best monitored volcanic areas in the world. The INGV and international partners, such as the German Geo Research Center in Potsdam, use a variety of instruments and methods to record every tiny change in the geological behavior of the volcano. This is extremely important in order to ensure the safety of the local population, and if necessary, to initiate evacuation in good time. That's why the current deterioration in the situation was noticed immediately, and the scientists are a little worried, to say the least. Thomas Walter from the GFZ says, The volcano is being monitored like no other volcano in the world. From a geological point of view, this is all normal. But for humans, other time spans apply, so we certainly can't speak of normality here. Whew, that doesn't sound good. I read through the latest INGV report, thanks to Italian lessons, and it contains some worrying data. In the week from April 15th to 21, a total of 145 earthquakes with a maximum magnitude of 2.5 were recorded in the Campi Flegre region, an earthquake swarm that is definitely above average. During this time, the ground in the zone of strongest deformation rose by around 2 centimeters in just one week. Insane. The geochemical data show no significant changes in the monitored parameters. However, 
they confirm the existing trends of warming and increased pressure in the hydrothermal system as well as an increase in magmatic activity in the subsurface. The INGV does not expect an eruption to occur in the short term, but overall these observations highlight the continued geological unrest of Campi Flegre. Until now, there has been some controversy as to whether magma is really accumulating underground at an increased rate, but this should now be considered proven. And the head of the INGV, Carlo Doglioni, has now also communicated this publicly. In a recent interview, he said that a lenticular magma chamber has formed at a depth of 4 kilometers, which is fed by a larger magma accumulation at a depth of 8 kilometers. In recent months, many researchers have questioned the existence of a magma accumulation at depth, but now it looks as if we have to face up to this reality. Doglioni said in an interview, My interpretation is that there is a magmatic closure at a depth of about 4 kilometers. The intrusion of the object determines the uplift and the resulting seismicity, and there are eruptions that can occur without warning that could come from a deeper magmatic chamber which should be about 7 to 8 kilometers deep. So the situation is definitely getting more serious and a smaller eruption, like the one that created Monte Nuovo, is becoming more and more likely. The accompanying earthquakes also pose a considerable threat to Pozzuoli and the surrounding area, of course. But Edgar, and this is super important, the data does not suggest that there will be an apocalyptic eruption like the one that occurred 39,000 years ago. At that time, the supervolcano exploded massively and ash was ejected over the entire continent, causing climatic changes far beyond the Italian peninsula. The INGV volcanologists see no signs of such a worst case scenario. Carlo Doglioni said in the interview, we are talking about very small volumes. Large eruptions of this type require volumes of dozens, if not hundreds of cubic kilometers. Here we are talking about eruptions with volumes of less than one cubic kilometer, maybe even tenths of a cubic kilometer, so very small volumes that cannot cause large eruptions. That in itself is good news, but even a small eruption would have serious consequences for the people on the ground. I was standing in the volcanic craters in Pozzuoli, and if another one were to erupt in the middle of the city, it would of course be devastating. As a reminder, the Campi Flegre are the largest populated caldera in Europe. Just how seriously the situation is being taken can also be seen from the fact that the Italian civil protection has already carried out evacuation drills in the past few days, including in schools in the area. So it remains exciting and I will continue to keep a close eye on the situation for you in the short term. To make sure you don't miss any developments at Campi Flegre, be sure to subscribe to my channel now. It's absolutely free, you'll never miss a video again and will help me immensely. And please give the video a like if you haven't already done so. Make sure you also watch the video shown, it's also very, very exciting and if you'd like to support my work, take a look at the Astro Shop and browse through the range. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.